Okay, guys, I know this looks bad. All right, it's a square root and a fraction, which can look very intimidating, but we're going to walk through this step by step, okay? So, as I'm solving this, this is a square root, right? It's asking me what number times itself will give me this number. But 27 doesn't have a pretty answer for that. If you stick it into your calculator, you're going to get a nasty looking decimal and it's not going to help me very much, right? So what we're going to do is break this 27 down and see, see where we can go from there. Okay. So over here, we're going with 27. We're going to see how I can break it down. Okay. And see if there are any numbers that have a square root. Okay. So I know that nine times three gives me 27, right? And what I'm doing here is prime factorization. If you need a video, I'll link one in the corner. You're welcome. And what I do is once I get to a number that can't be broken down anymore, except I can only break this down to one times three, right? And we're not too worried about that right now. Once I get to one that can't be broken down anymore, I circle it. That's called a prime number, okay? And so I'm gonna do that with nine, two, three times three, breaking it down. Those are prime numbers, right? So what this tells me is three times three times three gives me 27, okay? So I can write 27 as three times three times three, okay? And remember, we're still over this three. Sorry, it's still a fraction. We're working on it, okay? So remember, the square root symbol is asking me what number multiplied by itself gives me 27. Well, I don't have a pretty one that gives me 27, but I do have these two threes being multiplied by themselves, right? Which means I can pull one of them out, okay? So I'm gonna have a three on the outside and a three still on the inside. If that was confusing, hold on. I'm gonna explain it again, a different way. So three times three times three gives me 27. Also, nine times three gives me 27, right? I could have written 27 as nine times three under the square root. And what's the square root of nine? It's three, right? So that comes on the outside. One of the three stays inside. So hopefully one of those two ways made sense, okay? All right, so now I have three square roots of three over three. That's a lot of threes. So whenever I have something over itself, it just reduces down to a one, right? Three goes into three once. So these actually cancel with each other. I'm left with just one square root of three, but a lot of times we don't write ones unless we have to. So my answer is just going to be the square root of three. Okay, still might not be the prettiest answer in the world, but it looks a lot better than that, right? <laughs> so, okay, I'm gonna link a whole playlist with other square root videos, um, other radical videos if you need them. Hopefully that made sense, bye.